Hey Pit Monsters, what is up? Today we're going to do a long awaited video. I've been waiting to do this video for a very, very long time. I think I started talking about making this video in November. Finally, the moment is here. We are going to compare the flavors between a gas grill and a charcoal grill because there are a lot of you guys that are really strong opinionated about gas grills versus charcoal grills. I'm going to find out today if the difference is justified by reviewing these beautiful cuts of meat. I have here a dry aged Rubia Galaga steak, a cheese and jalapeno sausage, and dry aged burgers. There's cheese and jalapenos in it? Yes. Mm, I like that. Sounds good, right? So I have to do the test? No. No? You don't get to eat anything today. Really? No. You have a new cameraman. No, I have special guests coming in. And uh, here they are, Jorn and Marcus. And Hi. Hi. These are really special guys. We've been friends for a super, super long time. And uh, I really like them because I'm the tallest. <laughs> <laughs> they make me look really tall. But uh, no, <laughs> Jorn here is a fly sommelier. He's a, he's a meat master. He knows his cuts. He studied them and uh, he's been grilling and giving workshops for a very long time. Very skilled guy. Um, on this side, we got our Instagram supermaster, also a YouTuber, Marcus from Nula Afonso Barbecue. Great all around guy, also a meat connoisseur. So they know a thing or two about barbecue and about meat. So what we're going to do is put it to the test and you guys are going to eat it for us. So actually more so, I think I'm not going to get any either. Seriously, we're going to do a test and we're going to do a blind test. and. I really want to settle this once and for all. So I'm excited about this. I hope you guys are excited as well. We got our Napoleon gas grill standing by, but we need to fire up our Napoleon kettle grill still. So that's what we're going to do right now. We'll put in some charcoal, put in the fire starters and light them up. Now we'll slowly let our barbecue come up to temperature. When the charcoal's hot, we'll put the grill grate on. I'm setting it to a high position. I want them to start with a hamburger. Let's see if they can find out if it's grilled on gas or charcoal. We'll put this on the side burner of our Napoleon Rogue. Let's put the other one on our Kettle Pro Grill. This is a dry aged burger with a lot of flavor. We have some beautiful amount of fat in there. It's gonna be super tasty. Our charcoal burger is done first and it looks really, really good. We've had both our burgers over indirect heat to heat them up to 54 degrees Celsius exactly. They both have beautiful grill marks, but there's a difference. The charcoal grill version is more red and the gas grill version has more of a brown color. Let's call in the guys, blindfold them and have them taste it. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna work for Jorn. You have a flap in front of your face. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, Other, otherwise right. you cannot eat it. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It tastes like, uh, I, I don't know, it tastes like towel. <laughs> We'll cut open our burgers. Oh, both look really good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. For that reason, you will have to go first, Marcus. Yeah, hold it. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's a DIY today. Jorn, gas or charcoal? Charcoal. Marcus, gas or charcoal? Charcoal. I'm going to give you a second opportunity because this is the other one. You still stay to that uh, decision that you made? Yes. No, no doubt in your mind. So you were right. <laughs> oh, big surprise. Every kind of charcoal has a different blend. If you have um, the different uh, companies that make charcoal, they have different blend. And then you could sense a, a blend of charcoal. And there's a kind of, the, the first one was more intense in beef flavor and I think this, this comes from charcoal. Well, they guessed it right, right away, no doubt in their mind, the first one was charcoal and they were spot on. Let's move on to the sausage, see if we get the same result. First, I'll put my sausage, oh, that sounds so wrong. You can't say, I no, I can't say stuff like that. No, I can't say stuff like that. I'm gonna put the sausage on the gas grill on the Napoleon Rogue and we'll set it over indirect heat. We'll do the same with the Napoleon Keta Pro over indirect heat. For the sausage, I selected a beautiful cheese and jalapeno sausage. It's rich, it's creamy, it has a little bit of a zing from the jalapeno. This will taste really, really good. 
Our sausages are done. We're taking them off the grill. Look at our charcoal sausage. This looks really good. Now we'll take off our gas grill sausage. Nice bit of Maillard effect on it. Where are you going? Ah, should we come again? You have to do your job. <laughs> Let's get in the experts. <laughs> Blindfolded, what's next? Handcuffs. <laughs> uh oh. I'm going to put my sausage in your mouth. That's why you blindfolded. This is so funny. We're going to taste it and we're not going to say anything this time. We're just going to taste this sausage and then afterwards I'm going to give you the next one and then you're going to decide. Okay, one, two, three, there you go. Is it good? It's stuffed with jalapeno. It's yeah, nice. See, they like the sausage, so that's a good sign. There you go. Okay, <laughs> now I'd like to know which one was from the gas grill and which one was from the charcoal grill. Jorn. Uh, the first one was from the gas grill. Okay, Marcus. Yeah, I think the same, but they're pretty close. And again, they gave us the right answer. They understood the difference between gas and charcoal. We could do this more often. Yeah. You just need people to find that are willing to eat our food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Marcus, what's, what's uh, the giveaway on a gas grill versus charcoal? For me, they both were pretty close, but all in all, I think the uh, temperature of the charcoal, the higher temperature makes a better sear, and so it stays more juicy. Johan? Uh, I think the... Again, the, 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 the charcoal makes it more complex. Um, you have the, the higher temperature, but uh, also you have this... Um, yeah, it, you got a nicer crust on, uh, on the outside. Yeah, the one thing that really stood out to me, and let me show you, when I cut it, you see this is the gas version. I can cut through it like like, a, like a easy. You see how, how hard it is to cut through the, the charcoal, so the, the pellicle on the sausage was much more developed. This is where I see the, the, the difference between charcoal and gas. It also could be a little bit of difference because we had the uh, charcoal grill a little higher than the gas grill. But overall, they both look good. Yeah, they're delicious. Mm. Oh. Now for the grand finale, I got this beautiful Rubia Galaga steaks. Look at them. Look at the marbling that's on these steaks. We got that nice and deep, dark, dry edge color. This is gonna be amazing. Now we'll put them on the grill and sear them off. When we reach a core temperature of 54 degrees Celsius, our steaks are done. We'll season them with a little bit of finishing salt. And now, time to slice them up. You guys trust me, right? Of course. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, let's slice into this. And I don't mean the guys. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ah. yeah, there you go. Like a herring. Like the Dutch do it. Don't tell me what it is. Just eat it, enjoy it. Here comes the second one. Is this the one from the gas grill? Or was it the previous one? Jorn, you get the first try. Which one was which? Uh, I would say the second one was the one from the gas grill, and the first one was the one with the uh, charcoal. Marcus? Exactly. How do you guys know? Is the blindfold not on properly? No, no, no. no. It's again the flavor. The first uh, steak has a different flavor, and the second one is a little bit more boring. Of course, the steak is really, really good, but the uh, um, flavor is uh, different. Johan? Yeah, I can, I can totally agree. When uh, um, the, st uh, the first steak, it, it tastes more complex. Uh, it's very good meat, uh, obviously, but um, well, they are both delicious. As a, I would, I wouldn't say that uh, I would uh, wouldn't take the second one as well. But the first one was better. <laughs> well, we even just let yeah. them sit here with the blindfolds on. Don't okay. say anything. So again, you see the color difference between the one from the charcoal and the one from the gas grill. The one from the charcoal grill definitely has the red color on the outside and the gas grill, it's brown. Both have a crispy outside and the crust is somewhat the same, but there's the slight hint of difference that comes from the charcoal. The flavor is really, 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 really good. 
and um, there's as with the sausage the difference between the gas grill and the charcoal was pretty close Johan? Um, I totally agree the, the steak was really nice uh, they both had a nice crust on, uh, crust on the outside um, yeah in the end uh, you can prepare your steak on the grass grill as well but there's a slight difference to the charcoal grill and I would prefer the charcoal I had a lot of fun thank you guys for joining me <laughs> and uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here in the show and enjoying uh, this video. Give us a big thumbs up if you liked it and leave us a comment down below. Just say it, charcoal or gas grill. See you guys next time. Big thank you to our patrons of course and our YouTube members. Keep on grilling and it's makkelijk. <laughs>